Welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I'm excited to be back with you guys on this Monday afternoon. You guys, we have a lot to go over, okay? And this time I really mean it. We do have a lot to talk about because we got to go over Potomac Housewives and the aftermath after Monique quit the show last night. Y'all, I'm so disappointed. It's crazy. And then um, I want to talk about how this affects Giselle Bryant, how this is going to affect Miss Candace Dillard. We also need to get into Real Housewives of Atlanta because some new clips of the next episode are coming out. And Miss Latoya Ali is shading the hell out of Fallon. And then you have, um, you know, Ralph and Drew and their continuous marital struggles. And y'all, I don't think they're going to make it. So we're going to get into it all. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And let's get straight into the video. You guys know last night that I came on here and we talked about the breaking news. Monique Samuels quitting the Real Housewives of Potomac. I shed a little tear because y'all, I was sad. Okay, Monique did become one of my favorites. Even though I did not agree with a lot of the things that she did. I didn't agree with a lot of the things that she said. I thought it was wrong for her to attack Candace and shift her wig into a whole 360 turn, just like how Karen had her wig. I thought that was wrong, okay? I didn't like the fact that Monique had stooped down to the level, okay? She stooped down to the gutter and beat Candace's ass. Um, however, I still did like Monique and I understood where she was coming from throughout a lot of the situations that happened in season five. And so I'm hurt. But this morning she did an interview with Good Day, okay? One of the Fox affiliates. And uh, she was on there with her husband, Chris Samuels. And she again confirmed that she is not going to be on season six of Real Housewives of Potomac. She is quitting the show. And she kind of talked about why she came to that decision. Check this clip out. But when you have two shows happening at the same time, one that's on TV, one that's behind the scenes, and there's so much ugliness, and it's rooted in so much hate, that's the type of energy that I'm not going to play with, mm. and I'm I'm done with it. I'm over it. My kids, my family, my husband, they mean more to me than anything. And there's no paycheck in this world that will allow me to keep being in type in this type of uh, stressful environment. So you guys saw it for yourself, okay? She says that there was, you know, two different shows happening at the same time. You know, there's a show that the fans get to see when it airs. Um, and then there's a show that happens behind the scenes. And she says behind the scenes, it's a lot of ugliness. It's a lot of hate. Um, and it was just too much for her. Monique goes on to say that her family is more important and says that there's no paycheck in this world Okay, that's big enough that would allow her to continue to be a part of a show like this, okay? And at the end of the day, I'm happy that she's come to this conclusion uh, because you got to do what's best for you, your family, and your life, and your happiness. And if you are unhappy, if you're stressed, if you feel like you're constantly put in an environment and in a position where you have to fight and be combative, then guess what, baby doll? It's time for you to go. So us here at the House of Aaron wish Monique, uh, you know, the best in whatever she decides to, you know, do after the show. Now, how is this affecting Giselle? Okay, that was something that was playing in my mind this morning when I was thinking about the situation. Giselle and Candace this past season had a lot to say about Monique. Monique was a huge part of their storylines. And so I was thinking to myself, how is Candace and Giselle gonna fare on the next season, who they gonna beef with, who they gonna fight with if Monique is no longer on the show. So Giselle Bryant specifically, you guys know that Pastor Jamal Bryant a couple of days ago, well, really last week, went onto his Instagram live and said to us verbatim that he would never appear on The Real Housewives ever again right and so he quit the show okay and then last night you had monique go on to instagram live and say that she's no longer going to be on the show and so that's two people okay that was a central part of giselle's story on this past season that have officially quit the show so what is giselle gonna do giselle ain't got nobody to fight with but karen at this point Karen is about to be under fire. I feel like we're going to see a lot of Karen next season to pick up the slack for Monique not being on the show because who else is Giselle going to fight with? She has nobody else. Giselle is literally cool with everyone else on this show except for Miss Karen Huger. And so 
I guess we just gonna see Karen and Giselle duke it out for another season. Speaking of Candace, Candace is pretty much cool with everybody on the show as well, except for Karen and Ashley. It kind of seemed on the reunion last night that Ashley was kind of over it. Ashley was just like, I'm kind of over the situation. Like, girl, I don't want to fight with you. I'm pregnant and I got a husband who loves to cheat on me and touch other men's booties. My plate is full, okay? So you could kind of tell that Ashley was really not trying to, you know, go back and forth and be combative with Candace on the reunion. Uh, but we do know that Karen is about to mess, okay? We do know that Karen um, ain't going nowhere and she is ready for your ass whenever you want to give it to her. Now, you guys, let's get into Real Housewives of Atlanta. LaToya is coming in and she's saving the day because, you guys, this season is such a snooze fest, okay? And I actually said this about the last season of the show, um, but I spoke way too soon because I didn't realize that uh, this season was going to be this dry. But you have a newbie on the show, friend of the show, Miss Latoya Ali. She's coming in to save the day. I want to show you guys this clip. I believe the ladies are at Portia Williams' Black Lives Matter uh, Justice for Breonna Taylor event that she did at her home. She has Cynthia Bailey there. She has Candy Burris there. Um, her friend Joy makes an appearance. And then you also have Latoya Ali and Fallon Guobadia, right? And um, in this clip, Latoya is really coming for Fallon. Uh, when it comes to her relationship with her husband, Simon, because we know Simon is a little bit older and we know Simon has a lot of money. Check this clip out. He has five and I have three, so we make eight. Oh. How old is Simon? You got a squad, girl. Simon is 56. Yeah, I, oh, I, knew, wow. I knew that. Why did you assume that? that? Because you look like you date older men with money. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, <that's laughs> Y'all, what's wrong with LaToya? Okay, girl, like, what's wrong with you? Like... Everything that comes to your head don't need to come out your mouth. But you know what? I'm actually here for it, okay? I am here for all of the shade and all of LaToya Ali's antics because who else is going to give it to us? Cynthia ain't doing nothing this season. Candy ain't doing nothing this season. King is up to her same old, same old mean girl, villainous ways. You have Portia trying to be a social justice warrior. You got, you know, who else is on the show? I don't even know. Marlo is barely on there. Tanya gonna quit the show after being caught with the stripper. LaToya is our only hope, okay? LaToya is our saving grace this season because she, it's looking like she's the only one that's gonna bring any type of spice to the equation. So let me know what you guys think about that situation. LaToya, you didn't have to shave Fallon like that though, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with being with an older man with some money. My motto in life is why be with the man if he's not gonna be mature, if he's not gonna be, you know, wise, and if he's not gonna take care of your ass? Why be with the man, okay? If the man cannot take care of you, why are we with him? Why are we with him? Do y'all remember when um Tiny, she did an interview with somebody, I can't remember who, and she had created a whole controversy on social media because she said that Mama Joyce told her that she should marry for security and not love. I wholeheartedly agree with that statement. Be with somebody for security, not for love, because love ain't gonna take you to the end of times, okay? Love ain't gonna get you through the situations when you wanna fight that man and when you wanna break up with him. Love ain't gonna get you there, it's just not. You need someone who's reliable, someone who's stable, someone who can take care of you financially, someone who can protect you, someone who can make you feel secure. You need to be with a man for those reasons, okay? Loving him is just the cherry on the top, but him having your back and him being able to, you know, make sure you feel secure and safe is everything, okay? That's what's really gonna make the relationship work. Those are just gems from the house of Aaron. You can take it or leave it. I wanna show you guys this other clip. This is Ralph and Drew Sedora. It looks like they are doing some type of couples therapy. And in my opinion, it ain't looking too good for Drew, girl, okay? It ain't looking good for you. They might be headed for divorce, okay? Because every episode is an argument between these two and it just be off the chain. Check this clip out. Respect would be someone not emasculating me. Oh. Drew tries to treat me like her mom cheated her dad. I mean, I allow him to be the man that he is. You know, I see who Ralph is. I know he's not my dad. Okay. What was that? Yeah, I really don't think they are gonna make it. I really don't. And I hate to say that, 
okay? Because I hate to see a black couple break up on reality television. Nobody wants to see that, okay? Nobody wants to see anybody break up. But uh, every time I hear Ralph speak, I just get irritated. I get really triggered. I get annoyed because I'm like, okay, I can never be with a man like that because he is just way too full of himself. And um, he just seems like a selfish character. And I just can't do it. Like, I don't understand how Drew ain't slapped the shit out of him yet. <laughs> okay, like, I just, I just don't see it. And I don't condone domestic violence, but sometimes, you know, you gotta slap some sense into these men's because they don't know what they be talking about. Like, I don't know. Like, this is their first season and they already, like, on the brink of a damn divorce. Let me know what you guys think, okay? I just think that it's just a bit too much. I also want to know what you guys think about the whole Latoya Ali situation, her coming for uh, Fallon. And then what do you guys think Candace and Giselle Bryant are going to do without Monique on the show? Giselle Bryant is in crisis, okay? She don't know what to do with herself. Um, and Karen is going to be her saving grace because that's the only person that's going to give her anything interesting to do on this upcoming season. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you and don't forget to create a great day. Bye.